The City of London witnessed the first ever international education convocation of its kind to profile India's most established and respected educational institutions. A gala event was organized at London's iconic Madame Tussauds, which featured an awards presentation ceremony to honor India's most esteemed educational institutions. Namaste, 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 everybody. Take it, everybody seated. I should now say, since India has a Gujarati Prime Minister, Gem Cho. Oh, look at that, fan club. What I'd like to do, therefore, is to start by welcoming you to the inaugural International Education Convocation Skill Tree Great Place to Study, India Edition. Now, this initiative has been taken on by the higher education advisory and consulting firm Skilltree Knowledge Consortium in association, as you heard earlier, with the amazing people at Sterling and powered by Lavasa Corporation, a subsidiary of Hindustan Construction Company. The country can once again boast some of the most prestigious and lauded educational institutions, which are on a par with the highest and finest learning establishments of the world. And so they should be. Let us not forget, it was India that gave us trigonometry before the Greeks, gave us calculus before the Germans, it gave us navigation before the Vikings, medicine before the Romans, universities way older than Oxford and Cambridge. In fact, they invented universities. Just under 20 heads of some of India's most established and respected educational institutions have flown into London today to join us this evening. And if you want to know what tonight is really about, it's actually not about education. There is a pennant that I have in my office. This is what tonight's about. It is a pennant which says upon it, and it's by Sardar Patel, India's first deputy prime minister, the welfare of the country is neither in my hands nor in the hands of Gandhiji. It is in the hands of the youth. Education without character is of no value. You will hear from every single education institution tonight that they are in the business of character building and nation building, not merely providing an education. That is actually what tonight is about. Can I with that call Shaker on stage, the man behind this think tank and advisory consortium and the founder of Skilltree Knowledge Consortium, Shaker. <laughs> Good evening, all of you. Thank you so much for joining us for this award dinner tonight. Thank you all those institutions, all those universities from our country who believed in our idea that if India can produce some of the finest brains, some of the finest talents, then India can also become a great destination for education. And this is how Great Place to Study as a new platform, new initiative took birth at Skilltree. Thank you so much. I'd like to call Arvina Purgasta on stage. She's the COO of Skilltree Knowledge Consortium and editor, Great Places to Study. Arvina. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome from India. India's higher education system is the third largest in the world. It has exhibited impressive growth over the last decade to become one of the world's largest system. India has great potential to become a global hub. And if you know, it has already become a global hub, like our neighboring countries and also countries like Afri Africa has already uh, started coming to India for higher education. This country has share of approximately 8% of the global student market 
with somewhere around 20,000 students having decided to pursue higher education in India. Skill Tree Great Place to Study initiative is aimed at magnifying the appealing of India by giving Indian institutions an international platform. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Nathan is currently spearheading the development of Lavasa, India's first planned hill city to be built near Pune. His experience straddles hospitality, retail, and real estate pretty much around the globe. Nathan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been a privilege for us to be here. A number of you have asked why uh, Lavasa was involved in this program, what's Lavasa all about? So I'm gonna give you that one minute elevator pitch. The reason why we, uh, when we first met Shaker and we immediately sort of bought into his vision was that we believe that this is something that India needs. Education is something, as we heard in the afternoon, that's essential to our growth. But more than that, we believe that Lavasa is actually a great place to study. We're not in the education business but we provide the ecosystem uh, for educational institutions to come and flourish. And that's the reason why uh, we chose to be a part of today. And so with that, bon appetit. Thank you, Nathan. Now, to begin the, award ceremony, uh, the awards presentation, over the past two years, extensive research and auditing has been invested in to identify India's top universities for this biannual recognition, and this is the result of all that research and auditing. To present the first five awards, I'd like to call on stage, please, Dame Asha Kemka. Would you please come on stage? First award goes to Yenapoya University. Yenapoya breeds artistic talent with its core values, the mentor, the materials, and the medium. I'd like you to welcome on stage Dr. Ravi Vaswani, professor and head at the Department of Internal Medicine at Yenapoya Medical College and a former registrar to receive the award. Well, the next award goes to XL. RI. XLRI is the bridge between learning experience and full potential. Their innovative thinking has extended the frontiers of knowledge and management through cutting edge research. I'd like to welcome on stage Dr. Pranabesh Ray, Dean at XLRI Xavier School of Management to receive the award. Thank you. The next award goes to Whistling Woods International. Whistling Woods has consistently been rated as one of the 10 best film schools in the world. In a short duration of just eight years, the alumni of Whistling Woods have proven their credibility as artists, technicians, and professionals in many award-winning films, both in India and globally. I'd like you to welcome on stage Meghna Gai Puri, president Whistling Woods International and Rahul Puri, Head of Academic Whistling Woods to receive the award. The next award goes to the Vivekananda Institute of Professional Studies. Man-making, character-building, nation-building through meaningful education is their motto and their goal. I'd like you to welcome on stage retired Brigadier Dr. P.K. Saxena, Registrar at the Vivekananda Institute of Professional Studies to receive the award. The final award in this batch goes to Shulani University. Please welcome on stage Mr. Vishal Anand, founder trustee at Shulani University to receive the award.
and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause for our first set of awardees. And thank you so much to Baroness Kempter, Dame Kempter, for presenting the awards. Now, I'm going to move on to the second set of awards. I'd like to call on stage Commodore Sandeep Beecher to present the second set of awards. Now, the sixth award goes to SR Group of Institutions. Now, unfortunately, Dr. Ashish Mukhopade could not be here. Instead, I'd like to call on stage Arvina Purkasta, who you heard earlier, uh, the COO of Skill Tree Knowledge Consortium, to receive the award on his behalf. Arvina. The next award goes to RV College of Engineering. Please welcome on stage B.S. Satranayanan, Principal of RV College of Engineering, to receive the award. Final award in this segment goes to JIS Group Educational Initiatives. And please welcome Dr. Taranjit Singh, Managing Director at JIS Group Educational Initiatives, CEO. GIS Group Educational Initiatives to receive the award on stage. <laughs> we have a round of applause for all the awardees and also for Commodore Beecher. I want to remind you of a quote by Chanakya about education, just as you all sort of settle down. Chanakya said of education, it is the best of friends. Any person who is educated will always be respected wherever they go. And education is better than youth and beauty. Now, for this segment of awards, I'd like to invite on stage our key sponsor, Nathan Andrews of Lavasa Corporation, to help present the next batch of awards. Thank you. <laughs> now, the next award is part of Skilltree's Great Place to Study Index, and it goes to Professor Yogesh Upade, Vice Chancellor of ITM University at Gwailor. Please welcome on stage Professor Yogesh Upade to collect the award. <laughs> Now, the next award goes to IMT CDL Ghaziabad. Unfortunately, their CEO couldn't be here. However, we have a short presentation and a message from him. So if we could cue that, please. I thank Skilltree Global Knowledge Consortium for setting up this prestigious platform. And I hope to be associated for a very long time. Tonight's event have identified five individuals who they feel epitomize global leadership in education. These individuals are linchpins of British society. They generate immense value in their respective fields, be it in business or in politics. To present these awards, I'd like to welcome on stage both a dear friend and also one of the very few British Indian ministers in the UK government, Minister for the Department of Energy and Climate Change. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Baroness Verma. The first Global Leader Award for International Law goes to Mr. Soirosh Zaiwala, senior partner and founder of Zaiwala & Co. Solicitors. He's acted for clients ranging from the Dalai Lama, who's somewhere over there, to the President of India, the Government of the People's Republic of China, and the Iranian government. Please do congratulate him. Now, the second award for global leadership goes for international trade and enterprise and has been supported by Apogee Astaya University. The award goes to someone who's a recipient of many, many awards, to Rami Ranger, yeah, really. chairman of Sunmark Limited. Dr. Ranger is a successful entrepreneur and social and political reformer. 
for five years running, he's won the Queen's Award for Enterprise and for Community Service. Congratulations indeed. Round of applause, please. The next Global Leader Award goes to Right Honourable Lord Delacchia for all the education he's done on race relations. Lord Delacchia is one of the most senior Asian politicians in Britain. His extensive career background includes heading the Administration of Justice section of the Commission for Racial Equality as well as Senior Development Officer of the Community Relations Commission as well. Many congratulations. The final award in this category before dinner is served is being awarded to one of the UK's most respected and admired success stories. I have immense, immense pleasure in presenting the Right Honourable Lord Paul of Marylebone, Chairman of Caparo Group, with the coveted Lifetime Achievement Award. Lord Paul, please. The fifth award in this, in this segment goes to, to Richie Nanda, Executive Chairman of the Shield Group and Tops Group Security. An impressive entrepreneur, multi-award winning companies, hundreds of millions in turnover, and now, and now, recipient of this award. Many, many I'd now like to ask on stage Conservative Member of Parliament Mark Pritchard to present the next three awards, please. Uh, Mark was voted 100 Most Influential People in London by the Evening Standard very recently. Mark. The next award goes to the ICFI Group. So I'd like to welcome on stage Mr. Sudhakar Rao, Director, ICFI University, to collect the award. The next award goes to Great Lakes Institute of Management. Please welcome on stage Professor S. Sriram, Executive Director, Great Lakes Institute of Management, and Dr. Vaidhi Jairam, Associate Dean at Great Lakes Institute of Management, to collect the award. The next award goes to Goa Institute of Management. I'd like to welcome on stage Dr. Ajit Arun Parolka, Professor of Marketing and Assistant Dean Healthcare Management at Goa Institute of Management to collect the award. I'd now like to ask on stage Upan Patel, no relative, Although, when I tell you that he's a model, you might think we're related. Seriously, sir, you had to laugh at that. Not only is he a British Indian model and actor, he has acted in many of the serials and films you actually will have seen. And when he comes on stage, you'll recognize him even the more so. So, Upan Patel, if you'd like to come on to present the next award. Twins. Yeah. Right, so, my, uh, my twin brother is going to uh, present the next award, and it goes to G.D. Goinka University. And please welcome on stage Professor Dr. Raj Singh, Vice-Chancellor of G.D. Goinka University, to collect the award.
This stage is not big enough for two good-looking Patels. Open had to leave. I'd like to uh, ask on stage to make this presentation. Monoranjana Sin, she's the MD of Frontier TV and founder of NE Channels. Would you please come on stage? The next award goes to Four School of Management and please welcome on stage Dr. Jitendra K. Das, Director, Four School of Management to collect the award. present the next award, I'm going to ask on stage a former Miss Liverpool, an Indian film star, Bollywood actress, Amy Jackson. Would you come on stage, please? Amy's going to present the next award, which goes to Ecole Hotelier Lavassa. Please welcome on stage Dr. Raju Dougal, Senior Vice President, Tourism, Hospitality, Lavassa Corporation Limited, representing Ecole Hotelier Lavassa. Thank you, thank you, Amy. The next person I'd like to invite on stage to present an award is actually sort of the Indian equivalent of Brad Pitt somewhat. He used to work for the mayor, Boris Johnson, from whom he got his hairstyle. He's now Circo Transformation Director, Kulveer Ranger. <laughs> See him run up? It's his own legs. The next award that Kulveer will present goes to UPJ Education Society and UPJ Steer University. Please welcome on stage Sushma Paul Berlia, co-promoter and president of UPJ Steer and Sran Group, co-founder and chancellor of UPJ Steer University. The final award, in order to present that, I'd like to invite on stage dear old friend of mine, Rajesh Agawal, runs the firm, founder of the firm, Rational FX. I'd like to invite Rajesh Agawal on stage to make the final presentation of the interview. Rajesh. <laughs> the final award this evening, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Ames Institutes. I'd like you to welcome on stage Dr. Kiran J. Reddy, CEO of Ames Institutes, and Dr. Gopal G. Reddy, director of Ames Institutes, to collect the award. <laughs> Thank you, Ames. Thank you, Rajesh, as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings an end to this evening's awards. I thank Skilltree Knowledge Consortium, Sterling Media, and Lavasa Corporation for putting together an event which reminds us that India, thanks to the colleges that are all here, will again regain its rightful place as the leader of global civilization and the greatest nation on earth. Thank you all. Thank you.